Hi, welcome to my first video lesson. I will show you how to create a event receiver using Visual Studio .NET extension for Windows SharePoint service. This video is especially for SharePoint developer who work with Visual Studio .NET extension for SharePoint service. I am MJ Ferdus with you to show this lesson. First, we have to go to the central administration. Okay, let's explain the steps. How I will show you to complete this session. First, I will explain you the scenario that where you can use this event receiver then i will create a visual studio dot net extension project and creating a event receiver then i will build and deploy this event receiver to my web application i mean sharepoint um, application and then we will uh, check it in the central administration and also in the uh, in the site features of our web application then we will test our example and i will also show you how to uninstall or remove this uh, event receiver from your web application okay let's start First, we will go to our previous created document workspace application. It is on 87 sides MB doc. Okay. Here I created a document workspace type web uh, site collection in a uh, previous uh, created web application here you can see the shared document you can go from here and also from here if we go from here then we have to select the shared document then if you upload some document here it will be listed in here you can upload single or multiple document as you want for example if we include this we can uh, see also this here okay let's say i want to delete this event there is a message uh, for confirmation message and i can uh, delete this easily but if the requirement is like this that we can manage this delete event by our custom coding or if we want to do something when the delete is occurred then what we can do we can do it using event receiver which is provided by visual studio.net sharepoint extension it could be in uh, 2005 or 2008 so we have to create a visual studio project first we have to select the new project and uh, here you can see inside the C sharp section there is a uh, one uh, option SharePoint and here you can select the type of the project for our example we have to select empty project before going to this I have to show how you can uh, get this because if you install visual studio.net you will not get this option by default you have to download extension from the microsoft which is free
visual studio dot net extension okay if you download and install this extension you will get this feature here okay let's create a project for example we want to create a new empty project with pre delete year means even receiver then we have to add a new event new item like uh, type event receiver and we have to provide the name of the event receiver could be pre remove event receiver for example pre remove event receiver is the uh, name of the feature and also the name of the event receiver then you have to choose the list which for which you want to create this event receiver since our event receiver will be for SharePoint document it is a document list type so we have to select document library okay okay here two C sharp file has been created one for item event receiver another for list event receiver since we will work with the item that's why we have to work with this file here you can see the list of uh, event item which will be fire if you remove the comment of this function in our example we will remove the item deleting event okay then we will write some custom code for example when the uh, event occurs we will prevent this deleting item so here we have the object of uh, SharePoint event item properties so if we write something like this So when the user try to delete the event, this will show this error message. And you have to cancel the transaction using cancel properties by setting true. Okay. Save. build build succeed now I have to de deploy this uh, project to our web application before doing this we have to specify the path for uh, our site copy go to the copy this 